So an ankle sprain is damage to the ligaments around the ankle, and that's the soft tissues that connect the bones around the ankle. And it often happens after a simple twisting or rolling episode uh, where a fracture or a break is, is, not, uh, is not achieved, but the soft tissues themselves are injured. So we've all sprained our ankles. It's a very common thing to do, and it can come from the most minor to very major injuries, but simple rolling or, or uh, turning over of the ankle, landing awkwardly after a jumping episode, for example, twisting the ankle, especially with the foot planted in the ground, maybe kicking a ball or turning and twisting around on a tennis court. All of these things can cause a simple or a complicated sprained ankle, but they're all extremely common. The recovery period very much depends, depends upon the severity of the sprain. And as we all know, we can have mild sprains and severe sprains. Uh, the, we've all sprained our ankle or rolled our ankle and then a few days later been ready to get back to our normal activities. And that's just the same for sports people. However, there are obviously some more significant injuries and those can behave much more like a broken ankle and can take anything up to six weeks sometimes to get back to usual activities. So the rehabilitation process is very much dependent upon the severity of the injury, the symptoms the patient has and how they feel they're able to get back to their sporting activities. So after any acute injury uh, and the ankle sprain very much falls in that category, you should employ the usual first aid measures that we'd all undertake following an injury. And those follow the principles of rest, ice, compression and elevation. So we'd suggest that uh, any individual were to rest the limb and not use it for the activities they've been usually doing, Pop, put some ice, uh, ice packs on there or some frozen peas maybe to try and get the swelling down. An elasticated stocking such as a tube grip can, find, can be helpful with a bit of compression and of course elevating the leg. Once the first aid and these acute measures have been undertaken, uh, patients can then get back to uh, some form of rehabilitation and that's guided a little bit by the severity but certainly uh, would involve uh, sometimes uh, a, something like an ankle support or a boot in severe cases, maybe even crutches early on. Uh, and once patients are ready and able to do so, then normally we'd advocate physiotherapy rehabilitation with some exercises to strengthen the ankle and get back to normal activities. The good news for most people after an ankle sprain is that they're going to get back to their normal activities um, at least 90% of the time, possibly even more than that. Uh, however, there are some exercises that would certainly help people to maintain or gain the strength around their ankle and hopefully prevent them from rolling the ankle again or spraining the ankle again and being able to control it as best possible. So in the early stages, that might involve simple measures of just gaining the range of motion and circling the ankle to free things up, followed by what we would call uh, isometric exercises, uh, to strengthen the ankle, and these would be guided by a physiotherapist, and ultimately all the way up to exercises such as single leg squats and single leg hops, and also lateral or side to side hopping, sometimes using a wobble board and sometimes using uh, a device that the physiotherapist would, would employ, such as a TheraBand, uh, to help provide resistance for, for rehabilitation exercises. And all of these would usually be guided initially at first by a physiotherapist, but many of them could be uh, achieved or got on with uh, by patients in their own time uh, at, at their convenience.